Hey everybody, it's Nick with the Base Channel, and we are here in Germany at the Taman facilities. What's up, everybody? What's up, guys? Hi. Hi. <laughs> what are you like? Say, introduce yourself. Say hello to the people. All right, well, if you guys remember me, I'm Will from Basic Gear Review, but now it's the Base Channel. Last time I was here was Basic Gear Review. No, That's how crazy. long it's been. That's how long it's been, man. <laughs> Things change over Things change, here. things change. But yeah. it's good to be here, and I'm very happy to be with my boys. Yeah. You know? yeah. And... Not just oh, yeah. any boy. It's not just any boy. I'm, I'm Patrick. Nice, yeah. nice, nice to meet everyone today. Uh, I'm not part of the base channel, but I am today. He's part in spirit. That's right. In, spirit. in the heart. In the heart. So what are we doing today, Nick? So today we're going to be looking at Stingrays. We are going to go down a huge line uh, of a whole bunch of Stingrays starting at various price points. We're going to be starting with some of the Harley Benton stuff, and then we're going to move in all the way up to uh, some of the highest end Ernie Ball stuff on the market that we can get our hands on today. Great. So, Sounds yeah. wonderful. Yeah, so right now we are starting with one of the Harley Benton bases, one of their, you know, kind of Stingray style bases. Um, master volume, two band EQ, so it's gonna be a, a treble and bass control, boost and cut. Um, and uh, yeah, maple fingerboard, I believe it is a, check the cheat sheet, hold on. Uh, yeah, basswood body, 21 frets, um, maple fingerboard, maple neck. I like the matching headstock. I don't know about you guys, but I'm a sucker for matching headstock. Yeah, I didn't used to be, and I love it now. I think it's so cool. Yeah. Let's see how this baby sounds. I tell you what, you want to rip a little bit? How much does this cost? Like, I think 133 euros? Yeah. Something yeah. like that? The, Which is 118 euros. 118 euros. One. 118 For, euros. That's a south of 150 bucks American. Mm -hmm. And it feels amazing. Yeah. Like, at least, you know, how it feels could be, you know, twice the price. If okay. Not three okay. times price. And it sounds great. So let's, let me give it a little taste here. Where are we at? What are these? What is volume, volume? Well, figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you're right. Right off the bat, this thing feels incredible. Mm -hmm. Like the neck is so great and it's set up really well right out of the box, which is kind of rare for things at this price point. Oh yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? When you pull that stuff out of the box, it's a mess. So this sounds and feels great. I'm not 100% sure on these controls. I'm sure Nick is, but what I had it, I sounded awesome. I love this thing. Yeah. For, for the price, that's unbelievable. Yeah. I think I might leave with one of these. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Six bolt configuration too, which is kind of cool. So it's nice. Yeah, that is nice very cool. Sturdy. That was an added bonus. Didn't know about that until just recently. So I finally got my hands on one because you can't get these in the really very difficult to get these in the states at all. Neck actually feels comfy. It's it's a little thicker than some of the other ones I've played, but it's not like huge. You know, it feels like state. That's incredible. So Dig what do you it. think yeah. of the feel? I think it's good. The, the pickups are nice. Um, a little, maybe a little thin. Maybe I was having a little bit of, I was having a little hard time getting a really nice bassy tone. But again, for the price point and for what you get, yeah. it's a solid value. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, I'd say it's a pretty good build, so. What do you, do you say we move on? I say we move on for Let's sure. Let's take a look at some of the other ones. Beautiful. Yeah. Number two. Okay, so this is another one of the Harley Benton basses. Uh, this is a little step up. This is an HH, so you got two humbuckers going on. Uh, 24 frets, too. You got two full octave range on any open string. Um, yeah, three band EQ now. You have bass, middle, and treble control. Uh, and that should be, you got your pickup selector right there. And uh, Roswell pickups, we're going a little upgrade from just kind of their no-name stuff to an actual 
brand that they're carrying something you know a little a little more transparent pickup something a little nicer and it's got like a like a flame top flame yeah, top too. yeah flame burst nice. top and it's got that three string uh, string tree mm -hmm. which is great too because that a gets to buzzing on fenders occasionally or mm. music man music man music man's <laughs> music <laughs> men's music whatever plural all right we want to listen to it now yeah it. all right <laughs> Just the neck pickup by itself. Oh. Is it the one? Is that it? So like, this one already feels way just more quality. Mm -hmm. Where the last one did feel really good, but this one playing it alone, I can already tell a huge difference. Uh -huh. Let me see. Let me check it out. <laughs> what do we got here? <laughs> what, are, what are we working with today? Huh? So this should be a five way selector, yeah. Um, Is it a five I believe so. Yeah, yeah. It's five. So these these are actually coil split ability too. So you go from a humbucker and you can also go down to a single coil. Oh. Yeah, you can go from a humbucker to a single coil, depending upon which one you're, uh, what your your setting is. Sweet, so all the way up would have been a single coil. That one, I'm actually not sure. I'm not sure if that would have been a single coil or a humbucker. I don't know how this one is arranged. Let's play with it. Yeah, we'll yeah. it was very boomy. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. So let's, let's check it It out. sounded like a bucker, yeah. We'll probably be able to hear it. Let's see. I'll just go through all the positions. Yeah. So here's back position, just the bridge pickup. <laughs> So that's nice. Surprisingly, like right off the bat, it still has all that bass that a back pickup never has. Yeah, <laughs> it's booming. I mean? yeah. yeah. So that's great because anytime I play with the back pickup, especially on a jazz bass, it'll I'll have to adjust my amp settings. You know, mm -hmm. I feel like with this, that wouldn't be the case whatsoever. So let's keep going. All right, second position from the back. We had this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Positions apparently are different to people. Strat, anyway, second position there. from the back. Here we go. So that, I could see that being more single coily than the back position. I don't know. Man, I, I, I actually know. had a hard time telling because in the room that almost sounded like the humbucker. There was a little bit less. That might be the single. I don't know. It's hard to tell. It is actually very know. hard to tell. Well, okay. Let's go middle. We know what this is. This is a guaranteed both pickups, right? Yeah, that's obviously, you could tell that's, you could hear that scoop in there yeah, too. Yeah, it's nice and thick. Then we'll go second to last position. That's nice too. I think I'm, I'm. I think it is humbucker than single. Humbucker because it sounded a little more compressed to me than the last couple. Let me see. Yeah. Last position here, for all the way to the front. <laughs> That's booming. Yeah, I love that. Like, that I, just, I love that. Whenever <laughs> I played it. I looked at each other like, that one. <laughs> that one. <laughs> playing, I just looked at me like, this is the one. This is the one. Yeah, this thing, you're right, feels incredible. It's, I'm just shocked at the price point that these things how are much at. Is, How much is this one? This is the one I think that's 130 yeah, this is, or one, yeah, yeah, this is what, 177, 177 euro? okay. So we're looking at, you know, maybe 249 American ish yeah. Finding anything else yeah. of this quality There's, in this configuration, too, at that price. Dude. Is, well, it's like, with all the variants of sounds that you can get with it, mm -hmm. it's got the three banding cue, both humbuckers, and then it's splittable, like, yeah, then it's splittable split. too. Yeah. And, I don't know. 24 Scott, frets also? Yeah. 24 Dude, frets? It's, like, it's so nice. This is an insane instrument right here. Nicholas? Let me see. I'm going to hang out on that front pickup. I, I want to yeah, for sure. It. I want to experiment a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. That. Yeah, it's all center detent, by the way, too. Yeah, so yeah, we're just setting, we're not like one way all the way, mm -hmm. one or another. Everything's completely flat.
can't get over it. All day with that. Incredible. All day with that. <laughs> this <laughs> base is, dude. This should be the last one. Let's just put this one down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I... Um, Hold this one for me. I was going to yeah? say I'm probably okay. going to own one Appreciate probably by it. the end of the month. Cool. Because that's incredible. Let's Next move on. All right, yeah, let's keep going. Let's take a look tomorrow. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> The noises, the noises mm. are so oh, good. God. It's like, look at it. No, for real. <laughs> honestly, honestly, beautiful. Yeah, so this one, now we're officially into like the Ernie Ball Music Man family for mm -hmm. this stuff. Uh, swamp Ash, uh, all around. Swamp Ash body, Swamp Ash neck, all that jazz. Uh, and we're officially getting into, like I said, the Ernie Ball Music Man uh, family, this one by Sterling. So this is an overseas made, uh, not one of the maids, uh, not one of the ones made in the USA. Um, but uh, still getting a really quality piece. I actually had a Ray 34 forever that I, I Chris sold. Ended up the, yeah, yeah, Chris ended up buying for me, uh, and that one ended up finding a new home. You know, a few years after that. But mm -hmm. uh, I'm no stranger to the Sterling line, man, and I'm, I'm thumbs up all around. It was it was the Sterling that got me to eventually buy like a nice American made one, uh, which is the one that I still have to this day. So mm -hmm. good basis, good value. Yeah, let's uh, let's hear it, man. You want to uh, you want to open it up? <laughs> Sterling sound. It does that that it that hum does. where it has that. You know what I'm talking mm -hmm. about. The yeah. the Sterling like really mid driven. Absolutely. Where it has that just. It's like that you, high mid. That, like, yeah. That that it's Sterling high mid like, frequency. Like, yeah, yeah, that, yeah. Yeah. The Stingray humbucker sound. Yeah, this thing is nice. It, I know this is random, but did I just see you like hybrid pick? Yes. That's amazing. <laughs> they like picked down and I was like, that was sick. That was really cool. All right. I'll play inside. I'm gonna play. Oh, that sounds backward to me. Let's see. <laughs> It's the Sterling sound. It's just like so clanky and like not in a bad way by any means. That's just how I hear. You know what it's I mean? It's a stingray. Yeah, yeah. it's you a get stingray. The, like a stingray through like an SVT or something, and yeah. it's just clank on clank, and that shit mm -hmm. hits you. So mm -hmm. that's cool. I, it just feels great too. The neck is really nice. It's got that satin, satiny type of finish, yeah. which I've always been a fan of because it gets you, sweaty. Yeah, so you got the gloss on the body, but like that's not on the neck, and yeah. I cannot stand glossy neck. High yeah. gloss. I get I, so I, stuck yeah. to it. I have to like yeah, rip exactly. my hand off it to slide. It's crazy. I like this though. This is nice. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> That's familiar. A, yeah, that's Would you give me a tone down with that real quick? Tone down. Or let's... if it's if it's EQ, I tell you trouble. what. Let me let me do the way I usually like to do my thing. Okay. Right? Cool. Let me EQ the way I usually. Mm. Okay, okay. I, I like going back to the mids on mine. I see what's happening here. It's funny because I did spend so much time with the Sterling. Like I use it as my backline when I would like do open mic nights or go to open jams or whatever. I would always just bring my Sterling because if like something happened to it, if it got it actually got like a big old chip in the fretboard, some dude <laughs> dropped it. I was bummed. 
Um, but you know, it like it wasn't the end of the world for me because I hadn't spent a car payment, you know, on the bass or whatever, you know. Yeah. Um, so it was good, and it's still a really stable, fully gigable bass. I recorded with it a couple times, so it's, good. it's actually it feels it feels nice. And again, it's not like the super high gloss neck. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a you know satin finish, kind of open natural grain finish. So. Wonderful. Feels good, man. Feels good. Let's see what Sweet. else we got. Yeah. Right. Nice. All right. So now we're officially onto the USA made stuff. Uh, this is. The Sterling has got a roasted ash neck, mm. uh, ash body, mm. three band EQ, uh, American made stuff, quality, quality gear. So I tell you what, man, let's make it happen. Open it up. Mm. this is going to happen with higher quality and more money put into something but the as we're going through these i feel and hear the differences mm -hmm. like it, they're just becoming so much more higher grade yeah yeah, yeah. you feel it mm -hmm. as you go up the list that's cool let's see here keep this all at e10 too all right let's see what i can do here <laughs> better satin finish on the neck oh, yeah. even better than the last one it's incredible and the sound like instantly right when you started playing yeah like, yep, that's that's the stingray sound right there versus the sterling sound like you were saying you can yep. definitely hear the difference and i'm sure that has a lot to do with you know the american build the pickups and all the, the electronics going on the preamp exactly this one's got two batteries unlike all the other ones that we've been so that's 18 volts so a lot more headroom which is really cool which you can definitely hear i mean uh, you know what? i'm gonna let you do that actually unless you experiment yeah i'll make it super quick yeah cool so I'm gonna make this super quick. Um, it's they have um, this one comes with neodymium, dimium neodymium, magnets. Yeah, yeah, neodymium magnets. So that's probably why you're hearing a bigger difference in the pickup. I honestly don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> neodymium. I think it's neodymium. <laughs> I don't. I, don't I think so. Just call it neo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those ones. The, yeah, yeah. The good ones. The light the ones. ones. You want. Yeah, the the lighter ones. The ones you want. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Cool. So I'm just gonna center detent as well. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> See, it starts to get a different finish up here at the neck, so they actually purposely have where your hands go a little bit more satin, which is great. You can see the little change in color there. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's like an oil or what. Oops. But what I was gonna say is, um, this one really like accentuates how each of us played differently really well. Yeah. You know, versus the Sterling, you can tell the Sterling has its place. I feel like we fit into this one individually because we all played so different. And it sounded so different every time. Yeah. But it sounded great every mm -hmm. time. So I wanted to mention this one too. I like the uh, the cut right here. It's a five bolt. A little easier yeah. to get up here on the heel. I know we've kind of been like rocking way down here in the first position, <laughs> but this little cut right here, super, super more comfortable when you're mm -hmm. trying to get right around there. So, yeah. Cool. Let's uh, let's keep it rolling, man. Let's keep this train rolling. Let's check it out. Let's hear it. position that's beautiful so this is so this is just the uh the hh version of the special this is basically the hh version of the one we just played do you just want to run back and forth between those 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 pickup yeah. situations patrick that one's 
most towards the neck, second position. I can already hear that was yeah, I like yeah, that. Absolutely. I like the sound of that a lot. Uh, middle. Second to closest to the end. And then finally, last. That is a really impressive. They all sound different. Range. They oh, yeah. all sound different. They're all usable. Completely usable. I really dug second to last position. It had that like really nice bite to it. Got that like throaty, Beast. like ding wally like, type yeah, of yeah, sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anything that has like a really nice throaty sound is the best. Oh. This is the best. Oh man, I'm excited. Uh, I'm gonna rock middle. That sounded really cool. Problem. This is a problem for my wallet. <laughs> this is the right kind of problem to have. Yeah, that, it really right is. Kind of have. I totally agree with that. That roasted maple. There's something about it that's just so mm -hmm. nice. That little bit of darker. Because I have I have a few maple instruments and they're all that lighter. Yeah. Like similar to the one we did earlier. And this is just like incredible. Like that butterscotch type of yes. color. You know, it's mm -hmm. great. So? Yeah, I'm just gonna do this super fast. I want to go to the neck. Shred your ass. Oh man. <laughs> All right, give us let's some do, specs. What do you think? Let's do the next one. So that's the HH version of just the one that we just kind of ran down. Okay, cool. Roasted. Yeah. So uh, let's let's go on to the next one. Let's go on the Beautiful. Next so this is the five string version of the Music Man Stingray standard. Uh, HH. So you have your five way selector again. You got a roasted neck. I think. They've standardized the roasted neck on all the stuff coming out of the, uh, all like the stingrays and stuff uh, for the good. season, which yeah. is good. Good, absolutely. Um, so this one, probably same as we've seen on the last couple ones, you have shallower tuners, so they're real nice, high mass, very high gear ratio, real comfy. Um, the two, like we were tuning all these bases up before we came in, and like the first couple I was like, okay, whatever, and but when we got to these, it was like, ooh, I like that, mm -hmm. nice and smooth. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this is the five string version. Um, same deal, I would say if you just want to run on the pickups, man, let's hear them out. Yeah, man. Sweet. Neck one right there, second position. Then to the middle. This one's already like way throatier. Of course, mm -hmm. it has yeah, that yeah. low B on yeah, it, but sure. uh, the second closest to the end of the bass. We need to name these better. <laughs> <laughs> Some Strings. I like this but, one though. Okay. Yeah, nice, I mean, nice, nice. 
the throatiness is there. Uh, just going through the pickups alone really tell the difference, and especially because sometimes that low B will get lost mm -hmm. in a mix. Yes, mm -hmm. absolutely. Mm -hmm. So being able to choose between the different pickups will definitely help out yeah, with that. Yeah, absolutely. Plus, you know, the full band EQ. Which is always, like, a beautiful thing to oh, have. Yeah. So let me see what I can do. I'm going to go all the way to the back pickup. I know that's weird, but I'm going to do it. <laughs> No, this thing feels really nice. Again, all of these satin necks, I can't get my mind off of how great they are. Like, I love them. I have so many fenders, and all of them have that, that oh, finish. Yes. You know what I mean? So this is really kind of reminding me how incredible this is. Um, sounds great. I mean, I only did the one position, but when you went through all of them, it sounds awesome. I really love the sound of these pickups in the middle position. On all oh, of these yeah. so far, it's Absolutely. great. Yeah. It's like, it's like a super jazz or, sound almost. Yeah. For all the HH ones, yeah, it yeah. sounded really it's, good. It's awesome. And Let me see real quick. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. like one. I, I want to go all the way up on the neck. Make sure we're still in the center detent position, too, just for what it's worth. Like, you can screw with all this stuff later, but I want everything in the middle, and then we'll go shpap. So there's a really big frequency hanging out in that low B. I can feel it a lot in the neck too. Yeah. That's actually mm -hmm. really cool. I'm I don't know. I always kind of judge basses by you know instruments in general where like if I play a note, strike a chord, do whatever, I want to be able to feel it in my thumb, you know. And that's that's always a good sign because mm -hmm. I know if it's resonating acoustically, that's going to transfer through in the pickups. So you know what's a good cool. one too that I always use in a similar vein is I have that really big uh, levy strap, mm -hmm. and if I can feel it in my shoulder, I know that the <laughs> bass is good. It's yeah. awesome. It's yeah. awesome. Cool. Let's All right, move on cool. to the next one. So this one is the Old Smoothie. I'm really, really stoked. I've played a bunch of these, but this is a new, I think this is like a newish color they just introduced, mint green. My stingray is mint green, so I like mint green. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but um, yeah, so this one's kind of interesting. They they took a pickup where normally the coils would be right underneath the string, but this one they kind of offset it a little bit, so the string actually falls in between the coils. Um, so it's actually so, a five string pickup, right? I don't know if it's technically like exactly a five oh, string pickup, but they, yeah. they sized it a little wider. Okay, okay. So it takes off a little bit of that brittleness, that kind of like, you know, clanky, real brittle, brittleness where you lose a lot of that low end that you want. And it has so, this, and the it mutes. Should be, uh, yeah, it's got felt mutes underneath. For um, each string, individual mutes, which is awesome. Yeah, so the old smoothie is based on the original inception of the Stingray. Uh, so this is kind of meant to be a recreation of the... The, the pilot episode. <laughs> uh, and I think it's a two band EQ, right? Yes. Uh, yeah, so it'll bass be a two band EQ. So volume, bass, treble. Mm -hmm. Patrick, light it up. with the pick attack it, it sounds <laughs> super full uh, it was bright but it wasn't like mm -hmm. glassy yeah yeah you know it was super bright but it wasn't glassy mm, that was nice let's yeah. see let's see now beforehand this is the one i want to buy like this is my my grail of music man music men's <laughs> so Incredible, as always. I, there's something super special about just where those poles land. You can mm -hmm. really, really hear the difference mm -hmm. that makes. And I just, we don't have too much time to show the felt things, but like that's incredible. The fact that it's per string too is great because sometimes if it sounds good on the low strings, it like hangs Does, a little too much yeah. on the high ones, etc. So, yeah, this is incredible. Mm -hmm. Thank you. 
wonderful that's, that's, nice. that's the one I can you see should, why that's the inception you should buy this I, will buy this. <laughs> I think I might I think I might alright Oh, so this is an interesting one. This is a neck through design. We got a rosewood fingerboard. Thus far, we've had all maple fingerboards with roasted ash necks, what have you. This one, we have a neck through design, uh, and we have rosewood fingerboard. So this one, out the gate, mathematically, should sound quite a bit different. But I tell you what, Patrick, why don't you let it... <laughs> a lot like you were saying glassier yeah attack to it than the last one did for sure and the neck too because i mean it feels completely different not fully only, gloss yes. too already cool. sticking to it yeah <laughs> <laughs> cool let's see all right that's enough i that hurt my ears a little bit i played a little too hard <laughs> it's 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 bright i think it's only because we just did it after the old smooth oh that's yeah why it seems so intense but it sounds good and you can tell i kind of want to do a sustain thing is the neck through, you know? It was still going. I said, yeah, not bad. <laughs> not bad, not bad. That's some good sustain I for actually, sure. I actually wasn't counting. I'm not actually worried. Oh, I wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> You want to check it out a little bit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. Okay. Then close this out. We are playing through Dark Glass Alpha Omega Head into a Fender, I believe. Don't remember exactly which cabinet, but uh, we'll have Rumble all the Rumble 210. Rumble 210. Yep. We'll have all the specs. Uh, big thanks to our good friend Patrick. Oh, yeah. What's hey. up, buddy? Hey, thanks for yeah. having me, guys. Yeah, man. Love you very <laughs> much. So, tell you what, I'm going to play a little bit of riff and then we out of here. Cool. Too. Well, <laughs> within moments. Not going to get much closer yeah. than the way we yeah. timed that one. So, thank you so much, man. Yeah, thank you.